Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Amanda Starr's Celebrity Perfume Review. So today I am reviewing Woman by Christina Aguilera. This was her newest installment to her fragrance line that came out last year, I believe. Maybe it came out this year. I don't know when it officially came out. I know some people got it last year. Some people got it at the beginning of this year. I think it just depends where you are in the world because I think it got released here toward the beginning of the year but I know it got released in other countries at the end of last year. So this, I believe, is her ninth fragrance. Um, follows the same kind of uh, line that all her other fragrances have. None of them are technically spin-offs of each other, but they all kind of fit together in their own way. So the box this time is white, and it's got this almost like, uh, I want to say like canvasness, because it's got like these cross hatchings all the way across the uh, box on the top it says Christina Aguilera woman and got this cool gold lace that wraps itself all the way around the bottle all the way all around the box all the way to the back um nothing on the top nothing on the sides besides the gold lace you got some information on the side here that just tells you about her rewards and whatnot and then you got the barcode on the bottom so the bottle looks like this this time and is similar to all the, her other bottles designs but the liquid is a light pink color this time the top is gold there's no uh, like the sprayer's gold the caps clear there's no uh, charm or anything like there has been on previous ones with a ribbon or a charm or whatever it be um, then it says Christina Aguilera woman on it like that so the notes for this fragrance are as followed um, Bergamot, pink, pepper, lychee, and pear. Heart notes are magnolia, rose, violet leaves, and honey. With base notes of golden amber, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So, definitely similar to all her other fragrances, but this one is a little bit different. So when you first spray it, that honey from the heart is really kind of the most prominent note throughout the whole entire fragrance. But I feel like the note that stands the most out of the top is probably the pear and the pink pepper. They kind of blend together to get this light fruity pepperiness to the fragrance, but that honey really kind of adds this uh, natural sweetness to the fragrance that's not always done in fragrances, if that makes sense. Most times with fragrances, they're a sweet fragrance, they're overly sweet. This one kind of adds this natural honey sweetness to the fragrance. As it dries down, you get some of that um, some of the florals come out of the base, or out of the heart. Nothing super uh, stands out. I think the rose is probably the most prominent note if you were to pick one. But I feel like all the notes in the heart kind of combine together to give this light floralness to the fragrance. While keeping it still that natural sweet honey that you're getting. Um, as you dry down, I really can smell that amber and the, I believe it's the other one, right? Yes, sorry. Sometimes it's sandalwood, sometimes cedarwood. You never know which one it is. They kind of have a little bit of similarity to them. But anyway, so the base kind of gives you this warm amber cedarness, but that honey is definitely there throughout the entire fragrance and is very well known throughout the entire fragrance. This is kind of a more grown up honey fragrance if you were to make one. Um, I definitely like this one because it's not overly sticky sweet like some honey fragrances can be, and it's not overly floral trying to get that the bees make the honey sort of fragrance, if that makes any sense at all. So, definitely a light, airy fragrance. I would definitely say this is a springtime fragrance. Springtime, daytime fragrance, but definitely has the potential to be someone's signature scent. Um, on me, it lasts about eight hours, which is generally pretty good. I know a lot of the Christina Aguilera perfumes do last quite a long time, and they are of a higher quality. They just don't have a lot of um, promo and whatnot, he, at least here in America. So, thanks so, so much for watching, guys. As always, follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.